DJ Dells, you know I love you. We're on the hunt for the Baskin Robbins Stranger Things 3 Steve exclusive. We're going to go stop by a ton of stores on the way to the Baskin Robbins. And uh, we'll start off at Walmart. And then we'll go to Target. And then we'll hit all the other stores in the mall. And then we'll hit Baskin Robbins to see what's the whole deal with this whole drop. Let's see how this goes. But they got these movie cards that come with these little Funko Pop keychains. Something new. I've never seen this before. It's a cool idea. Let's go to the Pops. Oh, wait a minute. We got Pops here. It's just so loud. Oh, there's a Walmart exclusive. It's pretty stupid how they have it. How strong this thing is. That's pushing up against the pipe. See, it's dented. Who the hell wants that? That's a collector. That's whack. Oh, so you buy the Funko Pop, you get a discount on the movie. Let's see. Two ways selling movie tickets. You buy the Funko Pop, you can save money. Let me know if you guys are going to go and see this flick or not. They got all these Overwatch Funko Pops. They got the exclusive Reaper Hellfire Edition. Got a ton of them here. Uh, we're in the Funko Pop section. They got usual suspects Avengers Funko Pop, Star Wars, more Overwatch. They do have the Ronin exclusive. We're about to get up out of here. Make sure to smash that thumbs up if you like these vlogs. Makes me know to keep doing them. All right, so we just left Walmart. We're gonna go to Target because it's literally like next to Target, like the parking lot over. But I am really still trying to hunt down this Mysterio Walmart exclusive. So if anyone can help me out, definitely please hit me up if you have an extra one. Please. Let's check out Target. Then we'll go to FYE. A few moments later. Right, we are at Target checking out what they got. Never seen this one before. Awesome. Mr. Randall Watson. Got Chuck Norris. Never seen this out, like only online. Tons of these. They got Britney Spears. Never seen this at the actual stores, just online. And this just recently released Caddyshack with the flocked pop and the hat. Get this on clearance. That's a good deal. Eight forty-eight. One of these on sale. It's on sale too. The Secret Life of Pets. Max with Cone. Snowball. Can't wait to see this movie. The first one was awesome. But yeah, that's about it here. We're gonna get out of this store. Just wanna stop through. Why not? I'm actually glad we did. For people that are looking for these, check your targets. Let's go to the next store. All right, FYE is about to open real soon. It's almost 10 o'clock. Let's hit up FYE. Then we'll hit up Hot Topic, GameStop. And then we'll stop by Barnes & Noble, see if they got anything there. And then we'll go to Baskin Robbins and try to hunt down that Steve exclusive. All right, we're at FYE, checking out what they got. This is dope. I kind of want this one. I'll link this in the description box if you're looking for it. Cheech and Chong. Let's see. I want to get the Barnes & Noble's exclusive for this. This is a must have. Babe Ruth. Kind of want to get this one, man. Because I need this for the collection to lock them all in. Whoa. Look what we got. Yes, that was a sign. LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James. We got my guy Tony Hawk. It's another one I need. JJ Abrams. Forky. Let me know if you guys are going to see Toy Story 4. We got Axel Foley, Beverly Hills Cop, classic movie. They got Michael Jordan. Must have. Both of these are must-have pops. 
They got Lamont Sanford. I need this one with Fred. Got to get both of them. Definitely. Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman. And they got Alex Trebek. I'm looking for the chase. If anyone has a chase of this, hit me up. I need this chase. All right, we're going to cut out of here. Let's break out of here. Got right, Tyvig. Got the Castlevania Funko Pops. Pretty dope. You got the Green Giant and the Sprout right there. Blue Fang. This one's sweet. I like this one. Dope. Let's break out of here. All right, we're at GameStop now. Let's see what they got here. They got the Forky exclusive. Kind of cool. Looks like he's melting. Got Egon. Check this out. Shredder. It's an actual shredder with shredder on it. And then they got a pizza cutter. They got Ninja Turtle pizza cutter. That's so awesome. I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna link this in the description box for your convenience. The shredder's pretty crazy. Love that. Let's get back to the pops. Slimer, love this one. You got Justin Timberlake, looks just like him from back in the days too, which is kind of crazy. They did a good job on this one. I see they protected the microphone, wrapped it in some plastic. It's a cool pop. New Harry Potter box. It's the pop it comes with. Pretty awesome. They still got this one. This is an awesome pop. Let's go to the next store. Right. We are at Barnes and Nobles now. And then we're gonna go to Baskin Robbins. See if we get the exclusive they got here. Oh, they still got Georgie right there. I wonder how he feels about that last season. I'm sure he's not happy about it. Still got this exclusive. They got the Battle 11. Reminds me of the um, Bird Box movie, Bird Box. We'll see what this is all about. This is a dope pop. They got this flocked. Pretty dope. Exclusive. They got Charmander. Awesome. Must have if you're a fan of Pokemon. We'll see what they release next. Let me know in the comments what do you think they're gonna drop next as far as with Pokemon. I wanna see a Team Rocket three pack. That would be sick. Miles Morales, this version of him. They got the Stan Lee, which to me is a must have pop. This one is so great. And I think they're gonna be releasing a whole bunch of other Marvel, Hatina, Funko Pops, which I'm excited about because they definitely nailed it on this one. That's it, they don't got much. Let's break out of here. All right, so we're almost at Baskin Robbins. I'm hearing that. They are charging, some retailers are charging up to $50 for this Funko Pop. It's kind of crazy. I'm not spending that kind of money. It looks like some of the employees are trying to, you know, pull a fast one, get that paper. But we ain't doing that. If it ain't retail, we're not buying it. Hell no. Let's see how it goes down. All right, we are here at Baskin Robbins and Dunkin' Donuts. It's a combination. Hopefully they got it. Oh, they got it. Look. So we locked in, hopefully. And they got the Stranger Things Demogorgon Sunday. Looks kind of good. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this. Bomb. They got it. Hopefully. All right, scored. We got it. Let's head to the house, take it out of the box, check it out. Funko Pop Addicts. We are back at the house. You see it in the casa. I'm gonna take him out of the box in just a second. As far as this release, it was one per customer at my spot. I tried getting two, the woman wasn't budget. And then she tried to give me a crappy box. There was a person behind me on the line and she was trying to sell me a crappy box. She had two in her hand. I said, I want the other one. She was looking at me like I'm crazy. But she started looking at the one I didn't want, trying to figure out what was different about it. It was pretty funny. Let's take Steve out this box. And there he is, out of the box. Got his bananas split. I love how you got the branding, the spoon, 
the actual uniform with his name on it is pretty sweet. The hat. <laughs> Steve has come a long way. Remember when we first, you know, was introduced to him in Stranger Things? He's he definitely has evolved as a character. I think a lot of people have grown to love Steve. And um, it was very interesting going to, you know, not your typical Funko Pop retailer to pick up Pop. Very similar to, like, when we went um, to get the AT&T exclusive. You know, just going out there, it just was, it was something different, you know? But getting back to Steve, let me hit you with a side profile. I'll look at his back. I'll look at his other side. And one more close-up look. They did say they had 20 at their store and definitely do not pay over $12.99 if they're trying to charge you $30 $40 call up and complain you know call up corporate and complain because that's bullshit if they're trying to make money off of us you know because they've got a collector's item you know, they're not supposed to be charging that much money so call up corporate even $18.99 I hear some people are charging it's $12.99 you should not pay more than that all right, Cousin Dells don't want you getting ripped off. Cousin Dells cares. <laughs> Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, if you're excited for Stranger Things 3, and subscribe if you're new, of course. We got so much content. We got so much Funko here. And I'll try to link a bunch of Funko Pop I think you may want to lock in in the description box below for your convenience. I also picked up this Funko Pop, which I thought it was Michael Jackson at first. I didn't put two and two together when I was picking it up. That it's, you know, for the new movie. I remember Michael Jackson, he was saying he wanted to be Agent M. And I thought maybe they were doing something cool with it. But it's not. It's um, a new character from the new movie that's coming out. So, um, you know, I guess you guys could laugh a little bit about that. Some of you, I'm sure, will. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure Men in Black 2... He was on there saying he was Agent M. So why would they make another Agent M? I don't get it. I mean, it's been a while since I watched uh, Men in Black 2, so I may be wrong. But um, if you want to see an out-of-the-box look, I got it. I'll probably upload that before even this vlog. So check out that. Hope you had fun watching this one. And I'll catch you probably tomorrow with a new video. We out.